Good morning, it's Friday 28th of April 2017. This is Sylvia Shivamurthy and you're listening to the newspaper reviews on www.r1eng.com. Let's now look at the paper highlights from today's newspapers. The top highlight in daily news says motion to deny GSP+. Sri Lanka prevails by huge majority. The motion to deny GSP plus to Sri Lanka was defeated yesterday at the European Parliament. The motion to deny the trade concession put forward by the European Union Left Nordic Green Left was voted down as 436 members of the European Parliament voted against it, 119 voted for, while 22 abstained. The proposal to deny Sri Lanka the GSP plus status was tabled by the 52 MEPs from the European Union Left Nordic Green Left Group who argued that the country's labour laws are insufficient to protect workers while there had not been enough progress in the field of human rights. They argued that Sri Lanka's efforts to fulfil its commitments have been worryingly slow and that they are inadequate to ensure real progress. Another highlight which says, Peace talks should be held with weapons manufacturers rather than warring parties, says President. Discussions on peacemaking should be held with the people who manufacture weapons, but on the contrary it has always been between the parties involving the conflict, observed President Maitripala Silsena. The highlight in the middle says, Police can prosecute against liquor offences. Gaul Chief Magistrate A. Nishantha Piris asserted that the police are legally empowered to initiate legal proceedings before a magistrate court in connection with the liquor-related matters. The magistrate made the affirmation yesterday when he delivered an order regarding objections challenging the legal empowerment of the police to prosecute offenders of liquor-related violations. Let's now look at the paper highlights in Daily Mirror. The top highlight says, Sri Lanka wins GSP plus vote. 436 vote for and 119 against in EU Parliament. Another highlight says, More responsibilities requested for SF. SB says President was joking. Commenting on President Maitripala Silsena's request for Field Marshal Sarath Fonseca to take up the post of Army Commander or Overall Commander for two years, Social Empowerment and Welfare Minister S.B. Disanayaka said the President was not speaking seriously and was only joking about it. There's another highlight which says, China's investment in Lankan projects, not against interest of any other country. China's investment in Sri Lankan economic projects is not against the interest of any other country, a spokesman said yesterday. And now let's move to the paper highlights in Ceylon today. The top highlight says EU crushes opposition to Lanka's GSP. Another highlight says Bollywood actor Vinod Khanna dies of cancer. One of India's most well-known Bollywood actors Vinod Khanna has died aged 70, his hospital has informed. Khanna, also an active politician, had been suffering from cancer and was admitted to hospital earlier this month as his illness became more serious. Another highlight says, Hartal in Northeast, public transport comes to a halt. The transport services in the Northeast came to a halt yesterday due to a Hartal in protest over the government's failure to furnish details on those who disappeared after the war. The highlight in the middle says, MR invites SLF peers to joint opposition May Day rally, blast SLFP leadership. Former President and Kurnagala District MP Mahinda Raja Paksha yesterday invited all members of Sri Lanka Freedom Party to attend the joint opposition's May Day rally at Golf Face. That's all for today's newspaper highlights and we'll get back to you with more news tomorrow. Thank you.